The University of Illinois Laboratory High School, known as UNI, or UNI High, was established in 1921 and is a laboratory school located on the engineering section of the University of Illinois campus in Urbana, Illinois. Its enrollment is approximately 300 students, spanning five years the traditional grades 9 to 12, preceded by an eighth grade year known as the subfreshman year. The school is notable for the achievements of its alumni, including three Nobel laureates, and a Pulitzer Prize winner. In 2006 and 2008 it was recognized as a public elite school by Newsweek because of its students' high scores on the SAT. Before the recent change in the SATS format, the average SAT score was 2045, and now varies from 1400 to 1600. The average ACT score is a 32. Topic: Funding and relationship to the University of Illinois. Although UNI is located within the Urbana School District, it is not operated by the school district, nor does it receive any property tax revenue from this or any other district. Public funding comes only through the statewide per-pupil distribution financed in the Illinois state budget. Additional funding comes from donations by alumni and parents of current students. Enrollment is competitive, rather than being dependent upon residency in a particular district. For many years, the school was funded by the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign as an institution to experiment with educational curricula and to teach university students majoring in education, but the University of Illinois withdrew most of its support in the early 1980s. The school currently gets its money from state aid, allocation from the University of Illinois Provost's Office, fundraising, and fees from students. The laboratory aspect persists in certain classes. An experimental math course was taught in the early 2000s and teachers continue to experiment in small, creative ways with their courses to adapt to each grade of around 60 students. The relationship to the university also provides a number of other benefits to the school students. The proximity to the university campus provides a stimulating political climate, and access to the university's library system is equivalent to that of any undergraduate. The high school library is a branch of the university library system and for this reason has been called the largest high school library in the world. Additionally, Kenny Gym, the university's former men's gymnasium, is used by uni for both physical education and as practice and game space for the volleyball and basketball teams. While access to certain facilities that are supported by student fees, such as the ARC Recreation Center, is not granted to uni students, who are not assessed these fees, the school's relationship with the University of Illinois allows students over the age of 15 with sufficiently high grades to enroll in courses at the university. Credit earned in this manner may then be applied to future study at the university level. $1 million plus deficit In September 2014, faculty, parents, and students were made aware of a $1 million plus deficit the school had discovered. An accounting error had caused uni to take money out of a closed bank account, resulting in the huge deficit. Admissions and academics Students apply to enter uni as part of the incoming sub-freshman class which, although composed of 7th and 8th grade aged students, completes a year at 8th grade level before continuing on to the 9th grade. Roughly 65 students are admitted each year, keeping the school's total enrollment near 320 students. Admission decisions are based on previous academic history, extracurriculars, a personal statement, and a student's scores on the secondary school admission test. Students may apply during their 6th or 7th grade years. Because the subfreshman year combines two years of middle school into one year, and because many students enter at the ages of 12 and 13, many uni students graduate at 17. For this reason, a few students each year then choose to wait a year before enrolling in college. Whether immediately after graduation, or a year later, the vast majority of students go on to enter a four-year college or university. Topic. Extracurriculars 
Uni has had numerous successes in interscholastic competitions, including competitive chess administered by the Illinois High School Association and academic competitions. Students also participate in many clubs through the school, both for fun and to give back to their community. Chess The school's chess team has won the IHSA's team chess tournament seven times 1978, 1979, 1986, 1991, 1992, 1994, and 2009 and has been runner-up three times 1976, 1980, 1989. They came in second in the U.S. National Championship in 1978 on a tiebreak. During the school year, the team participates in the East Central Illinois Chess League, a conference consisting of 12 schools from the central part of Illinois. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Academic teams. Uni High has several academic teams that compete each year and typically place highly in their respective competitions. These include Science Olympiad, Scholastic Bowl, Wise Academic Challenge, and various math competitions. Recently founded in 2013, the Uni High Scholastic Bowl team has qualified for the IHSA state competition in four consecutive years, placing fourth in 2014 and first in 2015 in Class A before being bumped to Class AA and finishing second in 2017. Throughout the season, which roughly runs from September to March, the team participates in a variety of tournaments and competitions. Although its program started out relatively obscure and underdeveloped, Uni has since grown into one of the strongest teams in the state, winning the NAQT state championship in 2018. Since 1997, Uni has been an annual participant in the University of Illinois' Worldwide Youth in Science and Engineering Academic Challenge, which consists of a series of tests in various academic fields, including biology, chemistry, computer science, engineering design, English, mathematics, and physics. The competition is open to high schools in Illinois and Missouri. For nine consecutive years from 1998 to 2006, as well as in 2008, 2009 and 2011, Uni was the state champion in the smallest division enrollment under 300. In 2007, Uni competed in the next larger division and placed second, despite the school's smaller enrollment in the 9th through 12th grades. <laughs> Service clubs. Uni High's Habitat for Humanity Club works with the Clarksdale, MS Habitat affiliate. They hold several fundraisers throughout the year in order to send money to Clarksdale, as well as having an annual trip to Clarksdale every February where students work on houses. The club is led by a former Uni history teacher Bill Sutton. Several Uni alums have moved to the Clarksdale area to work with Habitat for Humanity or to work in various schools and after school programs. Uni has a food pantry club that volunteers at and raises money for the Wesley Food Pantry. The school also has a club called United for Uganda, which raises money for a grassroots organization in Uganda called Come Let's Dance. During the 2013-2014 school year, the club started a program through Come Let's Dance to sponsor a child in Uganda's education each year. <laughs> school traditions <laughs> X week X Week is an annual fundraising tradition at the school. Members of Student Council choose one or two charities, which are usually local, to donate the money to. Each day, a different class hosts a fundraiser. The senior class hosts the annual senior auction during the Friday of X Week every year. They auction off a wide variety of items, which usually include class notes and baked goods, as well as more eccentric options such as a movie night at a teacher's house or the opportunity to go on a safari with a few members of the senior class. The culminating event of X Week is Big Show, a comedic, student-led production. In recent years, the multiple events of X Week have been discarded in favor of a joint X dinner leading up to Big Show. The Wild Q Chicken Award 
The Wild Q Chicken Award, sponsored by the graduating class of 1972, was first awarded in 1998 and is meant to recognize spontaneous creativity, unbidden originality, and extraordinary acts in ordinary circumstances. It is awarded annually at the end of the school year. Recipients are chosen by a panel of judges from the class of 1972 along with past winners of the award. Previous winners have included a series of promotional posters for the 50 states in the first floor restrooms, the staging of the American Revolution in comic strip form, and a Gilbert and Sullivan style adaptation of Shakespeare's Macbeth. Topic: <laughs> Senior Project The Senior Project is a program that began at uni in the spring of 2014. The project was developed by Assistant Director of Student Life Karl Radnitzer, who got the idea from a similar program at New Trier High School in Winnetka, Ill. The project's goal is to allow second semester seniors to explore interests in a more career-oriented way than they would in a typical classroom setting. The project connects students with mentors in the Champaign-Urbana community who can help them explore their academic interests outside of the school building. Students come up with ideas for projects and submit them for approval to a senior project committee. If a project is approved, students then spend their second semester doing work for their project around three times a week. Students have worked in various labs at the University of Illinois, at the Crisis Nursery, at Carl Hospital, and at Cranert Center for the Performing Arts. <laughs> Agora Days Another example of creative freedom is Agora Days, a four-day school week in late February when students, parents, faculty, alumni and friends of the school can teach hour-long classes about a wide range of topics, which have included popular cake decorating and massage classes. Students are required to take a number of academic-oriented classes, but classes based on playing sports, watching films or TV series, and studying video games also exist. Students have the same eight-hour schedule on each of the four days. Agora Days has been a uni tradition since 1977. <laughs> Subfreshman Oral History Project Every year, the Subfreshman Social Studies class spends part of the second semester working on an oral history project. Social studies teacher Janet Morford's class works with Will Radio Station to conduct interviews on a certain topic, which varies by year. Past topics have included inside views of the military, people with disabilities, counterculture, the right to marry, and affirmative action in education. Subfreshmen are split into groups to conduct interviews. Each group member is assigned a role either interviewer, team captain, technician, or scribe in the interview, and the group spends several weeks researching relevant information on their subject's life before conducting the interview. A group of older students, called Will Interns, work with the interview material produced by the subfreshmen and turn it into an hour-long documentary. Topic athletics Despite the school's small enrollment, uni offers five no-cut sports for boys, cross-country, soccer, basketball, track and field and tennis and six no-cut sports for girls cross-country, swimming, volleyball, basketball, soccer, and track and field, which all usually compete in the IHSA 1A division. Members of the subfreshman class also have the opportunity to participate in cross-country, track and field, and basketball. Topic building The building which houses University Laboratory High School was constructed from 1917 through 1918 and was designed by Holabird and Roche in the late Gothic Revival style, with James M. White as the supervising architect. An earlier design for an H-shaped structure with two wings had been rejected in 1914, and it was not until May 1916 that the go-ahead was given to begin construction on the new design, which was estimated to cost $143,500. When the building was completed, it was almost immediately converted into a general hospital for the Students' Army Training Corp and School of Military Aeronautics for the duration of World War I. It was turned over to the high school in time for the beginning of the 1921-22 school year. Topic: Notable alumni and faculty. 
Three alumni are Nobel Prize laureates Philip W. Anderson, class of 1940, for physics in 1977. Hamilton O. Smith, 1948, for medicine in 1978. James Tobin, 1935, for economics in 1981. Other major award winners include George Will, class of 1959, Pulitzer Prize-winning columnist. Yuji Foster, class of 1988, Nebula Award-winning, 2009. Author other notable alumni include, sorted by class year. Tina Howe, class of 1955, American playwright best known for painting churches and coastal disturbances, the latter received a Tony Award nomination for Best Play in 1987. Mary Murphy Schroeder, class of 1958, chief judge of the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit. Francine Patterson, class of 1965, an animal psychologist noted as the teacher of Coco, the gorilla who could sign 1,000 words and understand 2,000 signs. Frederick Marx, class of 1973, filmmaker, producer of the award-winning documentary Hoop Dreams. Theodore Gray, class of 1982, a co-founder of Wolfram Research and winner of the IG Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 2002. Iris Chong, class of 1985, was a journalist and author, The Rape of Nanking, and was the subject of the book Finding Iris Chong. Nina Paley, class of 1986, cartoonist, animator, free culture activist. Rahul Pandaripande, class of 1986, mathematician and professor at Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, ETH, Clay Research Award recipient. Daniel Shapiro, class of 1986, U.S. Ambassador to Israel Shamit Kachru, class of 1987, string theory specialist at Stanford University Paul Debevec, class of 1988, Academy Award-winning researcher in computer graphics Erica Harold, class of 1997, Miss America 2003 Jeremy Hobson, class of 1999, co-host of NPR's Here and Now. Sasha Velour, class of 2004, RuPaul's Drag Race season 9 winner. Jonathan Cock, class of 2007, speed skater who won a silver medal in the team pursuit for the US in the 2010 Winter Olympics. Notable faculty include Professor Max Biberman, member of the math faculty from 1950 to 1971, head of UICSM and director of the Curriculum Laboratory, contributed to the development of and widely known as the father of the new math. 